Hey, God bless you so much. The peace of the Lord be with you and his glory will never depart from you. In the name of Jesus. My name is Clovis Asobi. If you are seeing me for your first time, welcome to Atmosphere of Prophecy, Word and Prayer, where I bring you God's Word timely, seasonally. Thank you for joining this family. Thank you for being an amazing soul. This Word is for you. I'm going to read it for you. The Bible says in the book of Nahum, chapter 1, verse 9, whatever the plot against the Lord, he will bring to an end. Affliction will not come the second time. Our troubles will not rise the second time. Whatever they plan against you, whatever they plan against the Lord, whatever, says, why are they they scheming against the Lord? He will destroy you with the bow. You won't need to strike twice. The Lord says, I should tell you, Affliction shall not rise a second time in your life and your family again. The last time you experience it, that is the last. There's a family that the Lord says you speak to. You have been going from one affliction to another. You left financial challenges. You move into marital issues. You move into owing. You move into not having a place. Things have been happening from one to where to another, one stage to another, from sickness to this, this person was sick. It seems like the devil just rise up and came to your family to destroy everything. It's, and it's looking like everything to all of you have put together all these years. It's like it's coming to an end. The Lord says, I should tell you, you are the Lord's own. And when they rise against you in one way, they will flee in seven directions. They will, because affliction shall not rise again. I prophesy and I decree based on this word in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the one who is, who was, and who is to come, that every form of affliction that has been, that has entangled you, entangled your family, any kind of weakness that has held you on the same spot, be destroyed by the precious blood of the Lamb. The Bible makes it clear. What is an affliction? When something is, it keeps happening, over and over, it becomes an affliction. There was a woman for 18 years, she has been suffering from the spirit of infirmity. That becomes an affliction. Someone was sick for 38 years, it has become an affliction. You are trying to come out of an addiction, drinking, smoking, pornography, washing, whatever it is, you have been you have been tied. And this is five years you're praying over and over to come out and you find yourself going back to it. It has become an affliction. But the Bible says it will not come again. Affliction shall not rise the second time. I don't know who I'm talking to, but I'm speaking to you and you're saying, prophet, you're saying, man of God, this is enough. I can't take this again. My husband's case is beyond me. It has become an affliction. I come in agreement with you in the name of he who was, who is sent to come. Yeshua and Mashiach, the God that speaks and the earth tremble, the mighty man of war, the lady of the valley, I speak to Elohim, I come in that name and I decree in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I put an end to that affliction. Let it come to an end. For the mention of that name Jesus, every knee must bow and every tongue shall confess that Jesus is Lord. Let Jesus reign over that because nobody can rise against the Lord. The Bible says, who can battle with the Lord? Let God arise and let your enemies be scattered. And every demonic force, demonic entanglement, everything that has become an affliction in your life, today, be permanently destroyed. In Jesus' precious name, go, you are free. Your family is free. You are loose from that. In the name of Jesus, rejoice. Amen. God bless you mightily. Listen to me. If this is your first time here, please hit the subscription bell and the notification so that you will receive updates of what is going on in this family. You shall be greatly blessed. God bless you. And see you soon. Shalom.